One, August 19, 1993. Jo Dr. George Tiller has been shot in both arms outside the clinic in Florida, the abortion clinic. Two deadly transfusions slip up into the muscle fibers. They hang there like weights, as if to say, keep your hands at your sides. Wrap them only around yourself. May 31st, 2009, Scott Roeder shoots George Tiller in the foyer of his church. It gets to the news outlets on June 1st, 12 hours after the address of the home his wife and six children live in is taken off the Operation Rescue Hit List, li Operation Rescue Hit List and replaced with the sentence, Mengele is dead. The Holocaust is one of their favorite metaphors. His family asks he be remembered as a hero. Now that he has been shot, I feel more naked, as if an abortion doctor 3,000 miles away from me really had whispered during my nightmares of babies who couldn't stop screaming, I trust women. I trust you. Two, dear Scott Roeder, a cervix is like a hair elastic, a rubber band, a hangman's noose, a flexible motion creation meant for expanding and contracting. Scott Roeder, do you have a daughter? Did you see her being born? How many worlds can she birth? How many menstruation miracles? I bet you don't know. Birth has been work for those of us who open. Those of us with no key scratches on our pelvic bones, there are no locks here. I was made to be the house down the street with the always open doors made like scaffolding. Oh, Scott, how would you know what birth looks like? What does a Big Bang explosion creating new planets named Saturn and Sarah and Jupiter and Julian look like? You don't know what it takes to become universe, become passageway, the deep breaths it takes to become St. Peter gate you don't know how much light you have to hold to look straight into the face of this creator God Scott did you look straight into the faces of the women leaving clinics if you'd searched their faces carefully you could see crucifixion maybe bloody martyrs hope and hard choices but Scott Roeder go to the Jewish retirement homes and ask them about the guards in the camps and when you go back to the clinic search the eyes of the women do you find babies cut to shrapnel do you find them the willing victims of Mangala Find the murderesses in the fearful 16-year-old girls half tucked behind boyfriends with shaking hands. Find the killers in the girl with a number scrawled on the back of a magazine article. The girl who knows her scaffolding isn't strong enough to hold up a person yet. Find the murderers in me and Jimmy who didn't know what we'd do if the real blood test came back plus sign. Find your murderess in me who has God's clenched fist in her belly. The five-letter holy word birth is tattooed on his knuckles. When God gave his fist the ability to open into palm, when he ran nerves up my backbone, set my pelvis wide like an uncrackable foundation. God said, I trust women to make me no orphans. God trusts me. How dare you push me into premature burning? How dare you expand me unwilling? There is no go pistol for the Big Bang. My belly is not a racetrack, not a vending machine. How dare you claim to be my savior? Crucify your murderers on blogs and billboards. George Tiller died for the safety in my belly, for the child I will cradle someday, for my someday baby who will swing from my scaffolding. George Tiller died for something he could never understand. A, voice, a force beyond comprehension, a bullet in both arms like the holes in the hands of Jesus. How does it feel, Scott, to have your holy words taken and used against you?